Okay, hello traders. Mike Boutros here, currency strategist with SB Trade Desk. For a quick wrap up on what we covered in today's scalp webinar, we did cover the uh, obviously the main headlines of the day. We did get the SNB cutting that uh, peg with the euro, seeing the serious Swiss appreciation across the board. I'm not really going to get involved in that trade, guys. Yet we're going to see how that pans out, but certainly you are seeing some Swiss across. Uh, Swiss appreciation across all the pairs. The pairs we focused on during today's webinars were as follows. The dollar yen, we kept that upside bias in focus last night while above that 116.95, 117 threshold. You did get a push higher into the 117.55 target, just missing that 118 level, catching the resistance on that median line parallel, pushing us right back into the lows again. Here's what it looks like on the live charts uh, for the dollar yen. Still focused here on a close push below 116.95 to keep the downside bias in play. Here's what the intraday chart looks like. Still broadly holding within the confines of that descending pitchfork formation. And again, um, we'll be looking to see uh, if we do hold below 118 to keep that downside bias in play. Neutral here for now on dollar yen. Other trades that we discussed, obviously the Aussie dollar, we did get some strong Aussie employment data last night. Here's where we were as we closed out US trade holding just within the confines of the bottom median line parallel. We broke through that 82 level, which was the bearish invalidation level gave out as well. We even went as high as the test to that uh, upper median line parallel, just shy of 82.50. Here's what the Aussie looks like on the near term. Um, the highs for the week did get taken out. We completed 82.87, guys, which is 100% extension off the low. It also represents the upper median line parallel for the current operative formation that we're in and a longer dated trend line resistance here in red dating back to the highs that you made uh, back last year in September. So as it stands right now, you did hit that major resistance target coming right back into support for more resistance. We're going to keep that 81.96 into 82 as our near-term bearish invalidation level on the back of what we're seeing in the RSI signature. We also spent some time, guys, talking about the intraday triggers and how we use these five-minute charts here on the Aussie, a good opportunity, although our bias was weighted and still remains weighted to the upside above 82, there was a perfect opportunity this morning to take this short, and here's what it looks like. A uh, five-minute chart had a nice trigger here with a move below 70 in momentum as price was coming into the major resistance target that we noted, namely that 100% extension off the low. Looking for a 20 pip move as a quarter of the daily ATR, stop against the highs, provided a really nice drop right back into key support. And again, we'll continue to maintain this area as our near term bearish, excuse me, bullish invalidation level. Looking higher while well above the 82 handle in the Aussie. Nice rebound here in momentum as well in 40, keeping the upside in play. Other trades that we talked about as well, obviously the Sterling Cat is the best performer of the scalps in overnight trade. Here's what we talked about yesterday. Into the close of trade, you know, the thing was continuing to consolidate into this apex. This is a upper median line parallel. You also had the 786 uh, retracement off the highs at 118.26 and 18, uh, or excuse me, 182.56 uh, as well. We continue to see this momentum divergence as we came into the highs, looking for that trigger break to give us the short, panned out really nice. Took out our initial targets at 81, uh, 22, 80, 80, and even dropped lower into the 80 handle. And again, this is near term our bullish invalidation level now being tested as support. Here's what Sterling CAD looks like so far. So on the daily, again, the major resistance that we ran into yesterday, we posted that piece on SB Trade Desk with regards to the exhaustion trade here. Here's what that looked like. And we were noting the major key resistance that we tested there last night. Again, guys, that 82.56 level represents the October stretch high, the November high day close. Again, that 7.86 retracement, and also the median line parallel off of that September low. So right off the bat, we were looking for short triggers, looking for a turnover and momentum. Here's what the scalp looked like in overnight trade. Again, a lot of these setups have been panning out really well in Asia and into the European Open. Here was a break of the near-term bullish invalidation level noted on yesterday's report. That started the move. Initial targets, 81.22, 80.80, and obviously the 80 handle here was the bullish invalidation level, and that uh, continues to hold here near-term as support. So momentum broke back below 40. This is the deepest momentum stretch we've gotten this week, and as long as the trade stays below 81.55 near-term, the risk is for push lower in sterling cat. Now we are treating this near term as a correction. And again, the daily chart continues to suggest that on the longer term, 
you want to look for that pullback um, to offer some nice buying opportunities here for the sterling cat. We also went over the trade in gold, and certainly that's a trade we've been following very closely. Um, you know, yesterday we noted that there is a risk for a pullback sub that major key resistance at uh, 1237, 1236, which represents the 2013 low day close, the 2014 low week close. You also had the 50% retracement of the July decline and the December highs all stacked up there. Two days we tried to close above it, couldn't do it. We came back last night, tested the exact median line parallel again running right through the high. So we took out 1248, took out the 200-day moving average. Now the current focus is on this region from 1262 into 1268. to 618 off the decline, 1618 off of the ascent. Here's what the live chart looks like so far for gold. Okay, oh, we did. Okay, so it's during the webinar, we were holding right below the R2. We finally did just get the stretch right now, 1262. Uh, it's been about an hour since the US Open. This is going to be the major resistance range near term, guys. We'll look to see if the momentum does close above 60 for the first time in a few months. We went back during the webinar, guys, and checked out the last couple of times we've seen a momentum break sub, uh, excuse me, above 60 from sub 40 territory. And out of the five times that we checked out, all of them uh, did see a little bit more of a continuation before the trade continued to turn over. So near term, while above the same level that was our bearish invalidation level is now going to serve as our bullish invalidation level. So as long as price stays above 1236, 1237, we'll favor the top side here in gold. Keep in mind, as you head towards the end of the week, guys, we do have some major event risk on tap tomorrow from the U.S. with regards to industrial production. Obviously, the inflation numbers are going to be huge, and the Michigan of our University of Michigan sentiment surveys. Uh, we'll try to keep you updated on the SB Squawk with the live release of that print, as well as some charts on what we're looking at post that release. Till then, guys, we'll see you. Best of luck trading. We'll see you next week, Tuesday through Thursday at 8.30 on SB Trade Desk for the intraday strategy webinars. Best of luck trading. We'll see you next week. Cheers.